Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be taking a look at a character I often feel gets a bit neglected in the series, Frankie. Or more specifically, Frankie's hair. Over the course of the series, this pioneer of fashion has regularly graced us with a new do, particularly post time skip. And it's not a simple change either. Frankie is a cyborg dude who makes very bold decisions that polarizes fans, as all good fashion statements should. So today we are going to put the focus onto these keratin works of art. But as with all of my stupid topics, five lists, there are some slight criteria to qualify for this list, and that is that it has to be a canon Frankie hairstyle. Why does it have to be canon, you ask? Well, and with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five Frankie hairstyles in One Piece. Number five, the buzz cut. We'll be kicking off this list with what is undoubtedly the most simple hairstyle we're going to see, the buzz cut. Now this style caused a bit of controversy within the fan base, as this was Frankie's first hairstyle post time skip, and along with the rest of his body it did take some adjusting to. But Frankie very quickly proved that he could own this slick cut, evoking a very cool simplicity, particularly when juxtaposed with his absurdly huge and attention grabbing body. And therein lies the true beauty of the buzz cut. This hairstyle quite deliberately understates itself and acts as more of an accessory to enhance the overall style of an individual, in much the same way that a simple flat black pair of polished shoes can really round out a tailor-made suit, although in this case Frankie's equivalent of flat black would be his trademark blue. In any case, while this hairstyle may not seem like anything special of its own, it is a well-chosen cut for the individual in question, and for the sake of this list, the buzz cut acts as a blank canvas to build upon, and my god, are we going to build on it. Number 4. Afro Frankie now if Afro Luffy proved nothing else, it's that an Afro instantly adds five levels of awesome to any character worthy enough to don its power. And Sir Frankie is certainly more than worthy of wielding this kind of devastating power. In stark contrast to the buzz cut, the Frankie Afro is built to be an attention grabber, with the viewer's eyes immediately darting to the fuzzy blue existence residing atop Mount Frankie. But do not let that focus fool you, this style is every bit as simple as the buzz cut, at least in appearance. I mean, I completely understand that an Afro is held to maintain, but we are just discussing the end result. What this simple sphere of hair very effectively achieves in the case of Frankie is providing a counterbalance to his behemoth body, which contains a couple of spheres of its own. So this hairstyle takes a step forward, making itself more than a mere accessory and becoming a true part of one very super Frankie. Number 3. Whale Hair here we have a hairstyle that was undoubtedly inspired by the whale tree on the living island of Zo. Whale hair is a true keratin accomplishment that only the finest of craftspeople are capable of. To say that this style stands out is an understatement, because this cut completely abandons any notion of suiting or enhancing an individual, instead opting to become an entity of its own. In fact, it got to the point that whenever Frankie appeared with this style, I didn't even see Frankie. All I saw was this glorious follicle whale. To this day, I'm still not entirely sure whether it was Frankie who chose to wear this hairstyle style, or whether it was the hair whale who chose to wear Frankie. That's a pretty damn impressive thing for a lump of hair to do, but unfortunately that is also the only thing holding it back from reaching the number one spot. It doesn't have the aim of contributing to the overall style of Frankie. It exists purely within its own right, and in the realm of hairstyles, there are at least two cuts that manage to achieve a bit more than that. Number 2. Battle Hair here we have a creation of similarly extraordinary detail to the whale hair, but with an actual purpose. Well, the word purpose is used pretty loosely here, but Frankie's battle hair comes with a bold statement. Having been inspired by the classical Yakuza Pompadour, battle hair immediately evokes a willingness and capability to engage in combat, which makes perfect sense as Frankie donned this masterpiece to commence the proper assault on Dressrosa. Furthermore, the reason why battle hair works so much better than whale hair overall is because it suits the overall style of Frankie at the time, who was wearing a paired back black suit, or at the very least the top portion of the suit, because Frankie doesn't wear pants. But with the much more flat outfit, there was room for expansion in the realm of hair, an opportunity which Frankie sees to perfection. Battle hair becomes the centerpiece, while the rest of Frankie's fashion choices act much like the buzz cut did, as a subtle but well-crafted support item. Also on a subjective note, I love this hairstyle and it's probably my personal favourite so far in the series, but at the same time I find it very difficult to deny. Number 1. Classic 
Frankie. Here we have probably the most familiar cut in regards to our cyborg friend. Classic Frankie is sleek and sculpted, yet rough and raggedy, particularly behind the head, which is a great metaphor for Frankie being a highly engineered cyborg who lives in a more ruffian underworld. Or at least he did when he was introduced, which is why this cut worked so damn well. But even after he joined the Straw Hats, Classic Frankie is a style that reflects Frankie in general, being an extraordinarily talented shipwright with a flair for unique design. It's also proven a timeless classic with Frankie briefly bringing back the style post time skip during the Fishman Island arc to great success. And I think a lot of the success of Classic Frankie is due to being a perfect mixture of a simple, somewhat understated accessory cut combined with a shape that does provide a hint of flair, acting very much as the icing atop of the Frankie cake. And that is why Classic Frankie will be taking a firm command of the number one position on this list. And that pretty much does it for the top five Frankie hairstyles in One Piece. I'm not sure why I bothered adding the part about being in One Piece, it's more of a habit at this stage, but if you just so happen to enjoy this video, then please do like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. Finally, please do comment with your own favorite Frankie hairstyles. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.